Another potentially hazardous asteroid is coming toward Earth. Here are the details. An asteroid the size of the Washington Monument will come around 7.2 million kilometers from Earth on January 24th, according to NASA. At between 84 and 190 meters wide, NASA considers asteroid 2017 XC62 potentially hazardous because asteroids over 140 meters could release at least a thousand times more energy than the first atomic bomb on impact with Earth, according to the Davidson Institute of Science. Of course, any chances of an impact are entirely unlikely as the closest asteroid 2017 XC62 is predicted to come to Earth is more than 17 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. However, even at such a safe distance, it's clear why asteroids like this one occupy such an oversized place in the popular imagination. The last time a large asteroid struck the planet was in 2013, when a 19-meter-wide asteroid exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, causing damage to around 7,500 buildings and 1,500 people. But that pales in comparison to the last time an object the size of 2017 XC62 is believed to have hit the Earth on June 30, 1908. Encyclopedia Britannica says back then, 2,000 square kilometers of trees were flattened near the Hodkamenaya Tunguska River in central Siberia. Siberia, and eyewitnesses at the time described a fireball lighting the horizon, followed by trembling ground and hot winds strong enough to throw people down to the ground. As of now, according to the Jerusalem Post, NASA is confident the Earth is safe from an asteroid impact for the next century, but in terms of major threats, two stand out. After its discovery in 2004, asteroid 99942 Apophis was identified as one of the most hazardous asteroids that could impact Earth, with the 340-meter-wide asteroid rated as having a 1 in 150,000 chance of hitting Earth in the year 2068, according to Science Alert. That possibility was, though, entirely ruled out by NASA last March when a close flyby allowed its Center for Near-Earth Object Studies to use enhanced radar observations to map the asteroid's future trajectory more accurately than had previously been possible and come up with good news. That research then leaves asteroid Bennu as by far the most high-profile contender for an Earth impact anytime soon, with NASA researchers last year using new data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a more precise calculation of Bennu's orbit than had previously been possible. The spacecraft managed to snatch a sample of dusty pebbles from the asteroid and help identify that on September 24, 2182, the 260-meter-wide asteroid has an impact probability of 1 in 2,700. Maybe that still doesn't sound likely, but if you were around at the time, you'd probably take more than a few glances at a calendar, and in recent months, a number of asteroid defense plans have emerged from across the globe to help offer a backup plan should worse come to worst. In March, a Chinese government-funded paper published in the Science Direct Journal suggested launching 23 Long March 5 rockets to deflect an asteroid's path. Researchers found in simulations that these vehicles could deflect a large asteroid from its original path by a distance of 1.4 times the Earth's radius, according to a report in the South China Morning Post. The plan does not rely on nuclear technology, which is thought to be an advantage, as a nuclear blast could break any target into several threatening chunks. And the Chinese study says it has an advantage over a similar 2018 NASA proposal that suggested using 75 Delta IV heavy rockets, each carrying one hammer impactor, to knock the asteroid off course, because it requires fewer launches. NASA, though, has just taken a step beyond the speculation phase and launching the double asteroid redirection test spacecraft in November. DART is currently headed for a pair of asteroids called the Didymos Binary and is expected to be in position to smash into the smallest of the pair by October 2nd in 2022. DART will impact the 160-meter-wide rock at around 21,700 km per hour, nudging it very slightly, but enough to change its orbit slightly. NASA will then measure the change in orbit and use it as data for future missions designed to protect Earth from large incoming space objects. Though not exactly explicit in its mission goals, DART will probably be trying to improve on NASA's April simulation, which found that if an Earth-bound asteroid was seen with only six months' warning, no one could do anything to stop it hitting the planet. At the time, MIT astronomer Richard Benzel concluded we would need at least 10 years to study aspects of the asteroid such as its size, its path around the sun, and what it's made up of to stop any threat. Business Insider, meanwhile, noted even more cheerfully that NASA currently only tracks around 40% of potentially hazardous asteroids. The New York Times reports that scientists have found the best way to deflect huge asteroids away from Earth. 
Researchers who had spent 20 years using a very special and very powerful gun to shoot projectiles at very rare meteoric rocks recently presented their findings at the 84th annual meeting of the Meteoritical Society held in Chicago. The findings show that the long-held belief that a huge asteroid heading to Earth should be shattered into pieces is not the right way to go. The thinking in the past was to launch a projectile that would hit the space rock head-on and shatter it into pieces small enough to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. But after shooting the extreme velocity gun at NASA's Ames vertical gun range at meteoric rocks, the researchers now say the best defense is to orchestrate a much lighter impact coming from the side of the asteroid's trajectory. In this way, the asteroid is left intact and nudged slightly off its Earth-destroying course. The researchers say the original idea of shattering the asteroid would create too many pieces that would still be likely to hit Earth and cause serious damage. NPR reports NASA scientists calculated that asteroid Bennu has a higher chance of hitting Earth than previously thought. The scientists used new data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a more precise calculation of Bennu's orbit. That spacecraft managed to snatch a sample of dusty pebbles from the asteroid in October last year and is currently on its way back to Earth to drop off the precious cargo. NASA found that the single likeliest impact moment would be on the afternoon of September 24, 2182. On that Tuesday, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of hitting Earth. An impact would pack the energy of more than 1.1 billion tons of TNT, roughly 2 million times the energy of last year's devastating port explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. The NASA team reached its revised estimate by pinpointing Bennu's distance from Earth to within about 7 feet at dozens of times between 2019 and 2020. That level of precision is like measuring the distance between the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower to within a few thousandths of an inch. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth but participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. NASA reports that it's ready to launch the first part of its planetary defense strategy on November 24th when it plans to launch the DART spacecraft. The spacecraft will be launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Once it gets into space, it will head for a pair of asteroids called the Didymos Binary. The spacecraft is expected to be in position to approach and smash into the smallest of the pair of asteroids by October 2nd in 2022. DART will impact the 160-meter-wide rock at around 21,700 kilometers per hour, nudging it very slightly, but enough to change its orbit slightly. NASA will then measure the change in orbit and use it as very important data for future missions designed to protect Earth from large incoming meteors. NASA previously announced on October 1st that the DART's CUBE satellite was ready. The miniaturized satellite will deploy 10 days before DART's asteroid impact, providing essential footage of the collision and subsequent plume of materials. Asteroid impact gets sole credit for wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, according to new research. Scientists from the UK say the 10-kilometer-wide asteroid that made the Chicxulub crater caused dinosaur extinction without help from volcanoes. According to the study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the research team modeled the Chicxulub impact, Deacon volcanism, and combinations of the two. The results suggest the asteroid impact was catastrophic enough to have destroyed the dinosaurs on its own. According to the models, Deacon volcanism would have reduced sunlight by just 5% at maximum. In comparison, estimates for the asteroid impact's effect is that fallout would have diminished sunlight by 15 to 20%. This figure is enough to have guaranteed the complete eradication of the non-avian dinosaurs. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.